work together, then I think more people will choose to take the train. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Howard. One minute, please. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Uh, developing Europe's rail network as a sustainable alternative to air travel over long distances is a perfectly sensible objective. But if that's going to be successful, then the service offer that is available to people needs to be comparable. We have clear rules on air travel compensation, and we need that on the railways, because those rules are an incentive for rail companies to improve their services and to make sure that trains aren't cancelled or, uh, or run on time. Now, it's not a complicated principle, is it? You advertise a service, the customer buys the service, and if the service fails to deliver, then the consumer is entitled to redress. Really quite simple. That is why we've resubmitted amendments, that's why I've resigned them, and that is why I will be voting for them tomorrow. The point of this recast must be to ensure that public transport is run for the benefit of the travelling public and not solely for the benefit of the people who run the railways. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we move on to Catch the Eye. First speaker, Mr. Sadziewski. One minute. Thank you very much, Madam President. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that it's the third 